I'm Simon Gosniak. I'm a professor in the Department of Physiology, and I'm the undergrad coordinator for the Honors Physiology program. My name is Shireen Hamza. I'm an integrative physiologist in the Department of Physiology. I'm Dr. Jill Schneider. Um, I am a first year family medicine resident. My name is John Johnson and I am a second year master's student. My name is Margaret, or most people call me Maggie, and I just finished my physiology degree. What is physiology? To me, it encompasses a lot of different things. How all the pieces from like the microscopic level up to the macroscopic level up to the, the organ level. Uh, how they integrate and work with one another. The program is uh, based around getting everybody a, a really good understanding of kind of whole, the way the body works. Way more in depth than anatomy. A background in physiology helps us understand our own selves even better. Um, what the human body does and how it's applied in different fields of science and medicine and rehabilitation. Physiology is basically uh, the study of the human body, but more focusing on the function of the human body. Kinesiology, I would think, would be more about biomechanics, um, how the body moves. Why should students enter the physiology degree? A degree in physiology doesn't mean that you have one track and that track is to go into medicine or dentistry or pharmacy. No, it can open up to many different pathways. Learn about um, the different systems of the human body. So the honors degree is kind of an opportunity to get your feet wet with regards to research. This is really great if you're more of a hands-on person. You need to have more dedication. It challenged me and, you know, I was with like-minded people who also worked really hard. And so that I think was the best thing that I got out of it. It's very intensive in terms of research and it also provides a lot of experiential learning opportunities for students. You know, if you're really interested in it, then the honors program is for you. So. The University of Alberta as a school is one of the top schools in Canada and not only that it's one of the top schools worldwide. Uh, High-ranking universities may prioritize research however not only do we prioritize research we also prioritize high quality education for our students the um, research opportunities that we have at the University of Alberta are really good. There are lots of resources for students. So we have libraries, there's um, fitness facilities. We also have a lot of support when it comes to issues related to mental health, for example. A lot of resources that students can reach out to. Students can transfer in um, at any point um, through their I guess, career at the University of Alberta. Any, any courses that they take in another program can be used towards their physiology degrees. Your first year is very basic science. So you learn your basic chem, your basic bio and all that stuff, your calculus, your stats. You're taking a couple of English courses, all the things you need to further progress in your degree. Second year, again, you take a lot of kind of quasi-introductory um, science courses. You do take the kind of introduction to physiology course, so it's called Physiology 212 and 214. The course is a really great foundation for basically physiology. And it gives you kind of the basic understanding of how all of these systems work. In a really fast, um, integrated sort of way. You will come back to that information many, many times in your third and fourth year. In third and fourth year is when you really kind of get deep into um, the more specialized courses in physiology. We also go into, let's say, reproductive physiology. My by far favorite was Physiology 400. Uh, 400 is the reproductive, so like it really inspired me to potentially become an OBGYN. So there was a lot of talk about like, uh, 
like IVF and like um, infertility treatment and stuff. Integrative physiology. So we're involving the brain. We're involving multiple organ systems beyond the reproductive uh, organs. I love anatomy. So anything anatomy is great. Neuroendoimmunomodulation. 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 It's a really great course. But the course is really cool because it was every way that like the nervous endocrine and immune system interact. How these three systems are actually one complex mega system. You learn about things like the placebo effect and sort of how integrated everything is to uh, your psyche. Um, of all the different ways that like they talk to each other, which is super cool and you know, very, very niche, but very, very interesting. I think that's a course that I enjoyed the most in my undergrad career. You know, some people like myself are interested in research, teach um, about the central nervous system, the CNS, peripheral nervous system, the sensory systems. We have people who um, specialize in cardiac physiology, um, renal physiology, GI, gastrointestinal, membrane protein. So we basically um, kind of cover all of the different systems of the bodies. Other courses I teach are advanced topics in cardiovascular physiology. The other thing that you can do in years three and four, you can do research courses with individual investigators. So you'll work in their labs um, and do research projects. You'll present your research in a paper form and also um, you'll presented orally. Your fourth year is all about doing research and or readings. Really, really, really beneficial and you work with a lot of different profs. I know that we do have a lot of breadth as far as research interests go. You can go and basically find anybody who's doing something physiology related. It doesn't necessarily have to be a physiology prof. What my research project was mostly on was about um, osteoarthritis in the knee and just understanding how it works on a physiological basis. But we took like rat hearts and some of them were older, some of them were younger, and then we actually um, took the hearts out and put them on a Langendorf apparatus, which is like a working heart apparatus. So I would be freezing the tissue and, you know, put, making slides and doing those slides under a microscope with different stains and things. My contribution to the project actually got published in the Journal of Physiology when the, the big journal article came out, which, you know, as an undergraduate student is unreal. Uh, introduction to research, so you know what you like, what you don't like, but also you can start building some contacts with who you can contact for your research project in fourth year. I was really able to figure out what I didn't like and then sort of use the process of elimination and try to find my own passion. And I, I've really been able to do that with the physiology program and that's really what led me to pursue my master's. So our department offers independent reading courses. So that's something you might come across as Physiology 466. This year now you can do the literature review. It is, uh, I had a few people I know go through that and they actually enjoyed it. And I would supervise students one-on-one. -on -one. We pick a topic that's of interest to the student and related to my area of expertise. And we do an in-depth reading, an in-depth study. So that's not lecture-based. Have a chance to go through a bunch of scientific papers, which is really, really excellent for your future. Whether you go to a graduate degree, where you go to medicine, whether you go anywhere else. So um, the uh, biomedical research certificate is something, um, it's a certificate that you can receive um, in addition to your diploma. And it is uh, granted to students who take a specific set of courses. You need, in order to get the certificate, you need to work in someone's lab, do an individual research project with an independent investigator. I mean, we did like dinners and stuff and we would do games nights every so often. And even just like orientation was really fun because you got to meet everybody. You know, have fun with it as well. It wasn't all about study, study, study. It was also about um, making those relationships. The lab tours were always really fun. I got to see a bunch of different profs and what research they were doing. All the labs would try and show off their coolest stuff. And she brought a fresh placenta with her to the lab and we got to touch it so it was pretty cool. There were also different events that let you meet with your profs. Having the opportunity to you know make those connections with like-minded peers is always super valuable. There's I think um, an info session for 
um, your fourth year. Really helpful for me because I had no idea what the fourth year entailed. It was nice to have that social circle kind of just coming back to different events through the UPSA. Because it's a small, tight-knit community in the physiology program, uh, especially for like the fourth years, um, what you'll realize is that you can really like build those friendships and you can share really close bonds. I think it prepares people really well for a lot of different professional programs. I mean, clearly medicine. To give you an example, uh, one of my former students um, is now pursuing a career as a biomedical illustrator. So it gives you a taste of medicine. It prepares you for a really hard course load. Now, having gone through medical school, it's kind of like, oh, wow, like, yeah, my brain was primed for that. You need a very uh, in-depth understanding of how the human body works. Um, to do well in medicine, but also a lot of other programs, physiotherapy, um, occupational therapy, even um, speech pathology. Um, it gives you a lot of the science background that you would, um, would need for those programs as well. You get the opportunity in a lot of courses like say Physiology 310, where you're working with um, medical equipment and medical devices. It's helpful for you in a sense that you'll be able to um, really look at it and see if this is if med school is for you. Is there an advantage as far as on your application? I don't know if there's necessarily an advantage. It may not necessarily help you get in as far as your application goes. The pharmacology that we did was very in depth, but it does kind of lend you a foundation for moving on to other topics in different areas. Because you'll have a lot of the background knowledge that certain other students won't necessarily have. If you kind of have that foundation going forward with your degree, it makes things a lot easier and you can kind of build up your knowledge from those building blocks. If you want to do something like, say, like a MD, PhD, or um, you want to touch a little bit more on the academic sides of physiology and medicine, then I would definitely recommend physiology in that sense. Think about what you're most interested in. So whether it's physiology or not, hopefully it's physiology. Um, at the high school level, you're probably interested in biology and physiology would be kind of an, an offshoot of this big umbrella of biology. I would say focus on what you find most interesting, what you are the most curious about. That is what's going to help you succeed in the long term. If you're really, really interested in medicine, human body, whatever it be, physiology is a really, really great way to learn about the human body and how it works. If they have questions or they're curious about anything with regards to the program, what they should do is take a look at the website first, because we do have a pretty good website. If you look, I think it's on the left-hand side. If you go, it's like undergraduate program or honors program or something like that. Um, if you click there and then there's a kind of frequently asked question page and a lot of the information on the program, the requirements, um, the types of courses you can take, the program planner where you can see all of the courses that you would take while you're in the program. Um, those are all on that page. But if you have something um, else that you want to ask, um, you're welcome to email me. Again, Simon Gosniak. I'm the um, program coordinator for Honors Physiology and my um, email address is just my last name at ualberta.ca.